Hello and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for Free with Miss Estrick. This video is going to be going through antigens and the beginnings of the immune system. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and if you do like it today, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to make notes as you go through, then pause the video, grab a paper and pen um, so you can do so. So first thing to do with the immune system is how our bodies are actually able to recognize the difference between one of your healthy self cells compared to either an infected and therefore unhealthy self cell or non-self cells. So your body's immune system has to be able to identify what we call foreign substances, um, which are going to be harmful to the body. And typically that would be a pathogen. And once they've then detected that it is a foreign substance or a pathogen, then it can put processes in place to destroy it. And the cells which are able to identify non-self cells are lymphocytes. So how are they able to do that then? Each type of cell has its own unique specific molecule on its cell surface membrane, and that acts as a marker to identify it. And that's what I'm showing in these diagrams here. They're meant to represent basic cells. Each have their own unique shape on the outside, and that is their identifying molecule. It's normally a protein because proteins are 3D tertiary structures, um, and therefore it enables lots of unique identifiable shapes. So that's what the lymphocytes are recognizing, these shapes on the outside of cells. Now we call those antigens typically, and the different surface molecules um, enable the lymphocytes to recognize in particular these four different structures. And once they discover them, the response will be triggered to destroy the cell. So the immune system will be triggered. So number one, it enables you to identify pathogens, so bacteria, fungi, viruses, for example, HIV. If you've had an organ transplant, the lymphocytes are able to detect that you have cells from another organism within your body. Now that isn't beneficial, that is harmful if you do have an organ transplant. You don't want the immune system to trigger a response to this transplanted organ. Abnormal body cells, so for example, cancer cells, they make slightly different antigens compared to your normal body cells. So the lymphocytes can detect these abnormal cells. And lastly, toxins. Some pathogens will release toxins, which are, which are poisons, into the blood, for example, cholera. So this is how they're able to distinguish between your own body cells and these four different types of non-self cells that we just went through. So you have approximately 10 million different types of lymphocytes in your body. So each of those 10 million are able to recognize one unique shape. So out of those lymphocytes, they're able to recognize 10 million different shapes. And those shapes are the antigens on the cell surface membrane. Now, all of these 10 million lymphocytes, they're made when you're a fetus. And when you're a fetus developing in the womb, you're very, very unlikely to be exposed to any other cells other than self cells because you are contained within the womb. So what happens then is while you're developing these lymphocytes, the lymphocytes complementary to the antigens on those self cells will die or their production will be suppressed. And as a result, you don't have very many, if any, lymphocytes which are complementary in shape to the antigens on the outside of your own body cells. So the only remaining lymphocytes, so the remaining 10 million, are complementary in shape to pathogenic or non-self cells. Now this does actually continue after birth as well, because you will still make new lymphocytes, um, but this will continue to happen in the bone marrow. And it's the same idea. In the bone marrow, the lymphocytes are only really going to be exposed to self cells. And when they're exposed to those self cells, they'll be destroyed if they are complementary in shape. Any lymphocytes which are not complementary in shape to the self cells they're exposed to will then go on to mature in the thymus or in the bone marrow. Now this process doesn't always work 
and that can result in lymphocytes attacking your own cells or your self cells. And that is what causes the symptoms of autoimmune diseases. So if you have heard of that term autoimmune, that is referring to your lymphocytes recognizing and attacking your self cells. So something in this process would have gone wrong where you haven't actually destroyed or suppressed the production of the lymphocytes complementary to your self cells. So a bit more then on what an antigen actually is. So the, they're typically proteins, they're located on the cell surface membrane and they generate an immune response. And that re immune response is generated by the lymphocytes. The problem is though, there is antigen variability. And this is why you constantly have to have a new flu vaccine every year. So the pathogen's DNA mutates frequently. And if one of those mutations happens to occur in a gene which codes for the antigen, then the shape of the antigen could change. And if it now has new shapes on its cell surface membrane, any previous immunity or memory cells which have been made for that particular shape antigen will no longer be effective. So that means any natural immunity from prior infection or artificial immunity from vaccine will no longer be effective. Um, the memory cells that are circulating in your blood will only be able to recognize the old antigen. And as I said, this is why a new flu vaccine is created every year because the influenza virus which we have over here, it does mutate incredibly frequently. And therefore, if you had the flu vaccine a year ago, a year's time, the influenza virus would have mutated so much that the antigens are a completely different shape. So the vaccine that you had last year will no longer be effective to the new year's um, influenza virus. So that is our introduction to antigens cell recognition and the immune system. So just to cover the key points again, each type of cell has specific molecules on their cell surface membrane, and that acts as a marker to identify them. And we typically call these antigens, and they're normally proteins. So those antigens, or molecular labels, enable our immune system to differentiate between self cells, so your normal body cells, um, compared to pathogens cells from other organisms, which could be transplants, abnormal body cells, and toxins. Antigens are molecules that generate an immune response by lymphocyte cells when detected in the body. And as we said, they're typically proteins. Pathogens DNA mutates regularly, and this can result in new shapes of antigens being made, and we call this antigen variability. And the impact is, if you were previously immune to that pathogen, as soon as it's got a new shape antigen, you are no longer immune to that pathogen. Finally, you have 10 million different lymphocytes and any that may harm self cells should be destroyed and therefore never mature and cause harm. Now, for more videos linked to the immune system to do with humoral response, which is antibodies, cell-mediated response, which is T-cells, phagocytosis, and vaccines, make sure you subscribe. There's lots more videos on this topic coming up, and I'll link them at the end of this video also. So if you have found today's video helpful, then please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest videos.